one's actually good. Pretty good. Okay. I'm gonna pop up there. The books don't have any. Those aren't mine. Mm -hmm. Got my little setup going on. E y'all welcome back welcome or welcome back gotta say that for the new ones this video hi if you new here hi my name is Lainey Bug I'm a certified geek yeah <laughs> oh brother this guy stinks I just like to fan over some good stuff like anime books of course manga like given and tv shows so this platform may change because i'm into so much stuff i like so much stuff in today's video we are going over the books i read in december i know it's late i'm sorry <laughs> look i had an idea where I was like, okay, what if I draw what I liked in the book? Like a scene that I liked in the book. I was like, okay, I think I could do it. Stop the cap. <laughs> Stop the cap right now. Stop the cap. I tried. It's, I mean, I'll show y'all, but it, it's like my skills, my skills are good. I don't want to downplay myself, please. But it's not too like professional, I would say. It's still good. I spent years <laughs> doing it. But I wanted to combine my passion for reading books to combine with my passion for drawing. There she is, y'all. Come on, give it up for her. So each book I'm drawing either a character or a scene from the book. If y'all ready to see it, let's go to the disclaimers for the people who have not read these books. My drawings will kind of be a spoiler just to let y'all know. But if y'all want to see the drawings anyway, y'all don't give a crap about the spoilers. Let's get into it. <laughs> so the first book I read it was A Court of Thorns and Roses. I, I it's gotten pretty popular lately like <laughs> but i read this book back in high school junior year of high school i had a friend she was like well if you read this book and i forgot what book i read please like that was six years ago but she told me to read this book i said well, what's it about she's like honestly I think you need to go in and blind. I said, oh. So when I read it the first time, I was like, oh my gosh. This is my favorite book. I love this book. <laughs> my 17 year old self was just like, oh my gosh, this is gold. I said, yeah, it was gold. That's six years, seven years later. So I said, you know what? Let me reread this. I, I want to see if it's still as great of a book as I thought. The gist of the book is we have our girl, Feyre. Oh my gosh. I loved her. But rereading it, I was like, Girl, you is annoying a little bit. <laughs> so basically, it's her, her two sisters, and her dad. They are poor. Farah, the youngest in the family, she goes and hunts for to bring food to the table. They were down to their last bread. <laughs> and she was like, oh my gosh, I need to find food for my family. So she goes out and 
in this book the fays are like the bad guys so she goes into this forest and she finds a doe not only she finds a doe she finds a wolf but this wolf is abnormally huge she's like is this a fay i don't know she hated the face let's just say that and she goes and kills the wolf along with the doe family boom has food has money everything else and that next day next night while she was home a fake another wolf creature was just like Murder! i said oh gosh uh -oh. <laughs> So basically the wolf is was the friend with the wolf that she killed the treaty goes where you exchange life for a life is either he kills her she goes with him so she was like i will go with you just spare my family he's like all right <laughs> she lives in the manor with lucian oh lucian that man right there oh that's a character right there <laughs> The scene where Reese comes into the picture. Oh, I don't know what my 17 year old self thought. Oh my gosh, Tamlin. No. Um, further along in the story, we know about this evil queen. This evil queen named Amarantha. The evil? The evil queen. Amarantha. When I read that part, I said, Ooh. I have to draw her I have to draw her as you're seeing right now as me talking describing the book her black throne her ruby red lips with her red curly hair that's a badass bitch <laughs> drawing right here it was challenging because the way I was thinking of it I had one scene of the book where it's gonna be spoilers, but it was Farah at the bottom of Amarantha's throne. Like her throne is like up here and Farah down here and she looking, but you're looking at Farah right here and you're looking up at Amarantha. I thought that would have been so sick. Of course, my skills ain't that leveled up yet. So we get this. <laughs> Loved this drawing so much when I was doing it. I said, oh, she's looking so good. I mean, she looked better than what I thought of. It got me into the gist of it because I was like, okay, well, I want to practice my digital art. And I was like, boom, there we go. I'll just draw Amarantha. I was just, oh, I rated this book a five stars. Only, solemnly because the court of thorns and roses was the first book that got me into phase and um fantasy and all that stuff that was the this is the first book that got me into fantasy way back then besides harry potter <laughs> that's how why i freaking love i would love to be a fae love to be a fae the next book i read is love on a brain um see i like the first book better look the love hypothesis oh my god adam oh adam <laughs> if the girlies have read love hypothesis you know you know <laughs> but love on the brain yeah. It's the biggest piece of dog shit that I have ever heard. It wasn't my favorite. <laughs> it wasn't like, oh my gosh, I absolutely loved it. No. <laughs> Forced myself to finish this book. Because it was just, B was annoying me. <laughs> so the gist of the story is that it's like B and Levi are like rivals and stuff. I think from gradu graduation, right? She's like a feminist. Feminist. <laughs> It was like, ugh, Levi. And I'll, you get the gist of it because it's in her perspective where it's just like, oh, Levi hates B and stuff like that. She used to be married and Levi to Levi's best friend, co-worker. It was a mess. 
it was a whole mess. The gist of it was cute, but it was just like... B. Girl. <laughs> if you do not want Levi, I will solemnly, solemnly take Levi off your hands. <laughs> <laughs> It was like black hair, green eyes. I said, oh. but full. I said, D, you don't deserve him. I don't want him. <laughs> oh my gosh, my weakness. My weakness. Who has black hair? Either hazel eyes, blue eyes, green eyes. I'm like, Panty dropper. <laughs> it's Mrs. Studio girl. <laughs> what Levi was giving me. <laughs> would love a six foot foe. Climb him like a tree. I love the dead romances. That's going to be my, that's been my favorite thing. My partner is <laughs> sick of me. <laughs> Overall with this book, I gave it three, three stars. Because I was interested in some parts and then other parts I was just like, Scam, but the ending. But if you read it, you know, you know. <laughs> Had me like, huh? What? <laughs> Mind blown. Mind blown. With this drawing right here, is I loved how the the author described B like that classical scene girl. Oh my gosh saying that she has purple hair septum ring and everything it's 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 all of us girlies want to be in our emo phase well i drew b instead of levi so plus i cannot do levi justice if i draw him in this picture i wanted to include her for her love for cats but to add a little cat in i don't care if it's not accurate i did not want to pick up that book again now her looking at the cat going like this and it's like in the in the cover it's like she's wearing a white top and i was like okay <laughs> so yeah that's love on the brain this this one was like it's called a court of shadows and i said Well, it's by the same author that that wrote Frost, and when I did my last review, I freaking loved that book. I don't know. It was just this book. I DNF'd it. No. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. FBI, open up! It was giving in the beginning where she took down them two vampires, and she said, "Leave my leave my bar." I said, "Okay." Then they just lost me. No offense to the main character, which I for forgot her name. And I was like, oh, this is a series I didn't like the first book. I didn't want to force myself to draw something of a book that I didn't finish. So, you know, I read parts of it, but it was like, I couldn't get it right. Because I'm working on proportioning my drawings and everything i just gave up on drawing the main character because she's supposed to have like purple hair in a ponytail have a lollipop in her backpack apparently she homeless <laughs> i ended up like drawing like little doodles on the side like trying to get the practice but i'll show you like my practicing drawings and stuff like that and i'll just include those into the video as i'm talking about the book with these drawings it's like I did the one where i drew the four girls and the the only one that stuck out to me the one that was having her hands on her feet and was looking away that one right there i want that one i'm gonna draw that one. Oh me actually coloring it in and, and everything because i was proud of it i was proud of it sue me i've been struggling trying to practice digital art because 
in my friend group it's like everybody does digital art and i'm i'm the only one on the set besides jessica jessica you better not say you ain't creative you're you're the writer of the group i'm the i was the paint painter i was the traditional artist i wanted to get in the habit of doing digital art because oh my gosh the tiktok girlies the the other girlies on here that make it so easy and i'm like i'm over here struggling <laughs> i was like huh <laughs> normally when i dnf i don't want to give it a one star because if i give it a one star it's like i strongly don't like this book give it a two star because i was just saying it kept me interested enough to go 20 percent in but then after it was like it was getting harder and harder to pick up the book and reading it and actually be excited to read it so that's all the books i read in december i'm sorry it was a light it was a light month it was a light month i was going through the mostest trying to get christmas <laughs> changing jobs and it was like screw reading i'll do as much as i can but if i don't it's fine my goal for 2022 for the books that i wanted to read was 22 books it should not be a problem I read 42 books in 2022 which was not bad to be honest i wanted to get into my goals for 2023 my reading goal i want to read 50 books yeah <laughs> it should not be hard because i hit 42 books and i started late in the year i started like in july basically halfway through the year of getting back into reading i'm just be like hey my goal is 50 if i don't hit it cool it's fine my other goal for 2023 is i want to pursue my passion for art i don't care how bad my art is i'm a poster i'll i'll shamelessly plug in my my instagram the little ones that i that got me a little thousand i love thousand views a little thousand views <laughs> oh my gosh it's giving me confidence because i'm like oh my gosh i can do it i can really do it after all these years i was just saying i can't do it my art's not that good well lady when is it gonna get good <laughs> if it's art and i'm drawing i'm gonna post it so that's that and oh i got my first hate comment tiktok when i posted it and they were like well tip the ears should be matching and i was like well good tip I struggle with my ears <laughs> but I didn't pursue it as like a hate comment I had to reread it and I was like oh I was like oh you mad because <laughs> my eye look a little bit better than yours you mad <laughs> it, it was like humbling a little bit because I got my first hate comment because normally I'm just like people's like that's amazing I love it and everything or I'll get a whole bunch of likes my next goal oh my gosh i want to fill out my sketchbook i know it's about almost about filled with because i did the 30 day challenge which i may do a video about it later in the future actually start a new sketchbook i want to finish my daily journal where i do like i write my feelings and stuff i actually want to finish that and start a new new journal with that i also want to start like going out around in my neighborhood where i'm from florida girl so just go around towns and stuff like the other day i went to saint augustine and me and my friend took pictures i put them up on the screen right here and i was like oh my gosh what if i did a video where i just paint whatever i took a picture of that would combine my pet my actual like hobby for taking photos and then like actually practicing acrylic or watercolor so that could be a cool idea and last goal somewhat goal but i have never seen supernatural <laughs> just had a marathon yesterday watching them but i have not watched supernatural until this year so i'm like you know what i give i give I'm gonna watch Supernatural. The amount of this show 
has me in a chokehold. I watched two episodes. We stopped at that after the last episode. My friend goes to me. Sam or Dean? I said, Dean. <laughs> Dean! <laughs> then my other friend, she's like, Nadine? Yeah. Yeah. Dean? Yes. Sam? He's a sweetheart. I was like, yes! Because after my marathon yesterday, oh, the way Sam in the first season had his hair i was like this reminds me of josh hutcherson and like bridge to terabithia ah! we had his hair like that oh my gosh oh my gosh i'll put up like little cars of me <laughs> being like geeking out about supernatural and i'm just being like this i'm like you're cold <laughs> She said thanks father. I was like, thank you, daddy. <laughs> Would you stop making me fall off your leg? <laughs> I was comfortable. I'm sorry, Dean, but <laughs> Sam. <laughs> he parted his hair. I said, Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> A bunch of back pay. And he said they still have to pay. Breathe, I ain't breathing. This man like black girls. <laughs> I said, no. I said, well, you know. That gives me a chance. But that gives me a chance. No. Oh. So what they're going to end up paying you is actually going to be left. When you call him. <laughs> Being crazy. But. Mm. I love it. Ha! <laughs> I'm a supernatural girl now. <laughs> well, yeah, that's the end of the video. Like, comment, subscribe. Tell me how you liked my my little video. Because I'm trying to do something different. Got a little light. We got a little new setup. Like, we, we getting there. We getting there. Has, has some little money for, for Christmas. So, had to invest. Had to invest. So, yep. My next, what I read in January next month it's my birthday i'm gonna be doing my hair like because your girl is going to universal for her 25th ah. <laughs> i am excited i'll do a whole vlog that's all i have for this video can i nah just can just just stop it